Now to a major shakeup at the Secret Service, Director Kimberly Cheeto has resigned under pressure after the failed assassination attempt on former President Trump. It follows a tense hearing Monday on Capitol Hill. Nicole Killian reports. One day after defending her job to lawmakers. I think that I am the best person to lead the Secret Service at this time. An about face for Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle, who announced in a letter to staff Tuesday, it is with a heavy heart that I have made the difficult decision to step down. The 29-year career veteran wrote, I take full responsibility for the security lapse. However, this incident does not define us. Cheadle had been facing growing calls to resign ever since a gunman opened fire at a Trump rally on July 13th, killing one person and grazing the former president. It's overdue. She should have done it uh, days earlier. And um, now we have to look forward, ensure that the mistakes are not, don't ever happen again. Secret Service Director Cheadle clearly made the right decision. Um, she uh, needs to take responsibility. In a statement, President Biden thanked Cheadle for her service and said an independent review of the incident continues. Her deputy, Ronald Rowe, takes over as acting director. Meantime, more questions are being raised after Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley released graphic new body cam footage from a local police unit. It shows them on the roof near the deceased shooter discussing the attack with Secret Service. Beaver County sniper seen and sent the pictures out. This is him. Okay. The commissioner of Pennsylvania State Police told lawmakers some officers left their perch to search for the suspected gunman shortly before he opened fire. I believe they were actively searching along with additional municipal officers for Mr. Crooks. This morning, FBI Director Christopher Wray is expected to testify about its investigation into the assassination attempt, and the House is set to vote on a new task force to probe the shooting. Adriana? Nicole Killian, thank you.